We can test the signal hypothesis in the following manner. Here's our RNA extract again from cells that produce the IgG light chain only. We're going to do cell-free translation just as we did before, but this time we'll throw in some rough endoplasmic reticulum that we extracted from some of the cells in culture using differential centrifugation. We'll take the rough endoplasmic reticulum fraction of the cell and we'll throw it in to the cell-free translation system. The idea here being, of course, that if the RER is present during the cell-free translation, the protein that is produced will actually be produced inside the RER, and if there is an enzyme associated with RER that will cut off the traffic signal, then you should see a smaller peptide made inside the RER. So let's take a look. So we do that protein purification. We throw away the uh, RER that was there. We extract IgG lichen using the same techniques we did earlier. Here's a polyacrylamide electrophoretic gel. We have radioactive IgG light chain that was made actually by cells and therefore is the smaller size. We have radioactive IgG light chain made by cell-free translation without rough endoplasmic reticulum being present. And we have these molecular size markers that we can get off the shelf and put on this gel as well. And so we put each of these in one of the lanes. And so we have four samples, four lanes. We turn on the electrophoresis. We run the gel. We stain the gel. And once again, when you stain the gel, all you'll pick up are the markers and the IgG light chain that was produced by the cells because there's lots of it. But now you put a piece of film on top of this gel and you allow time to expose the autoradiograph and then develop it. And this is what was found. Once again, the spot on the left represents material running in the second lane, which is that small amount of radioactive IgG that the cells actually made and secreted. The third lane, if you remember, contained the IgG light chain made by incorporating radioactive amino acids in a cell-free protein synthesizing system using RNA from these cultured cells. And finally, in the last lane, cell-free translation of RNAs extracted from cells in the presence of rough endoplasmic reticulum produces a protein of the correct or normal size, a, a protein we would call the mature IgG light chain molecule, the one that's the same size as the one secreted by the cell. So from this you can conclude that the rough endoplasmic reticulum, as was predicted, does have an enzymatic processing activity. It catalyzes the hydrolysis of the signal peptide the extra amino acids, the RER has this enzymatic activity that catalyzes the hydrolysis of those signal peptide amino acids off, leaving a protein of the correct side. Here's the hypothesis. There is a signal peptide that these extra amino acids are, as one might predict, at the amino terminus of the protein. That's the part that comes out of the ribosome first during translation. That would make sense because what comes out of the tunnel in the ribosome to be exposed in the cytosol, in the cytoplasm, that first component is what would be recognized during an attempt to associate with rough endoplasmic reticulum. And the RER, the rough endoplasmic reticulum enzymatic activity, is called signal peptidase because it catalyzes the cleavage of the signal peptide.